Hey guys, Jailene here once again. So today I am bringing you back once again with another recipe, you know, slash mukbang type of thing. I don't know, I don't know what to call it yet. I'm still new to all of this stuff, but I am cooking, cooking today. And if you're new to my channel, what up, I'm Jailene. Subscribe so you don't miss out any more of this sassiness, you know, tu favorita Latina here. Anyways, guys, let's get started. So today we are going to be making, um, I'm not sure what to call it. I guess like a uh, creamy pasta garlic type of thing. It's delicious. It's vegan. It's creamy. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I mean, it's really good. So normally I make this with regular spaghetti pasta, but today I want to take like a more healthier approach. And I got here some Trader Joe's organic red. Blah, 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 blah organic red lentil yeah pasta yeah the ingredients for this is just organic red lentil flour and that's it yeah and it has 13 grams of protein that's why i chose this one because i was like you know what let's make it more in protein and less unnecessary things into our body and just you know Lentils, come on. So, anyways, um, I just got this machine, so I don't know how to use it very good yet. So let's get started. It says here on oh, so fancy. Turn the camera. How do I know when it's on? Okay, on. And then what? Function. What did I do? See, I was not expecting the fan to blow. I'm sorry, this is my first time using this, so that might be annoying. Today, I am putting coconut milk because I found it open at my fridge and I just want to get rid of it, so, you know. What's happening? I'm afraid it's going to blow up or something. Oh, I guess it's very hot. Oh my god. Okay. Come on. Come up to. Can this go down? Okay. Ooh, because that is hot. Let's put it temperature. Okay, I think that should be good. This is going to be a lot of editing. I'm going to add another cup of water. Again, I never measure, but I'm doing this for you guys. I like I like a lot of I like a lot of sauce. So here we go. All right, so far we got a one cup of coconut milk, one cup of water. We're going to add some salt. Maybe like a teaspoon. <gasps> That's a lot. Yeah. Yeah. It might be. It might be. Again, I don't measure, so I'm trying. I'm trying here with you. Okay. So now that we got that there. Perfecto. Now that we got that there, we're going to throw in there some of this smashed up garlic that I got. I have about four large cloves of garlic. I would have put more, but this is all that I had in my kitchen. So this is what we're doing. I swear that fan it's annoying. So this four cloves gave me about, let's see, look at that, a tablespoon. This is going to be so good and garlicky and delicious. Va a estar bien, bien rico. 
Okay, we need this to boil. I don't know. I hope this machine, I hope that noise is normal. But So now we're going to start chopping some mushrooms. I got some Bella mushrooms. No, wait, Portabello? I don't know. It's mushroom. And it's the brown one. Hopefully I got it right. I want to chop it thinly. Okay, yeah, it's starting to, you know, warm up. So, throw that in there. I already washed this at my kitchen, so at this point, I'm just chopping. I don't have to put the mushroom, but I like mushroom on mine. I like lots of mushroom, plus it gives you protein, so. Let's just, you don't have to do it a specific pattern, just put it in there. So now we got the mushroom in there. Mm. And now I'm going to put some onion. Now for the onion, I like to like thin slice it. So try your best to make it thin. I mean, if you like it into thicker chunks, that's fine. We're not picky here. Good, 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 good. Throw that in there too. <laughs> Delicious. Little black pepper. Okay, a lot of black pepper. Got some oregano. Oh my god, this year is going to be very annoying also. It makes like a squeaky noise. And then we got the fan blowing on this thing. You don't you don't have to do this. I'm just putting some garlic powder because I like the garlic to taste. The garlic itself is enough. But I only have four cloves and normally I put more than four. So that's why I'm putting the, you know, the powder. Okay. Okay, listen. One teaspoon is good. But I feel like another little pinch won't hurt. starting to bubble up we're gonna put the pasta last so I got here this is the first time I'm trying out this Trader Joe's organic grand lentil gluten free pasta so hopefully it tastes good I'll let you know you'll find now if it's good right here right now okay so serving size I cut it off serving size is 56 grams or Two ounces, so two ounces. Okay, so for this one, we're gonna put three ounces. So like a serving and a half because I feel I feel greedy today. Now this is optional. You don't have to add any oils to this. Can you see me within the fog? Hopefully you can. You don't have to put any oils um, in this. This is very optional. Again, you don't have to do this. But I'm going to be putting like a little drizzle. I don't know what to call this. You make popcorn with this. It's like they, it's artificial, artificially flavored. Um, the only ingredients in this is soybean oil, artificially flavored, colored with beta carotene. Anyways, it's vegan. So you could put olive oil. That's a way better option. But I didn't have any, so I'm putting um, this one to give it more of a buttery type of 
you know? Yeah. Oh, drizzle. Okay, that's it. Now we're gonna let this cook. This looks so beautiful. Mmm. Girl, how you be doing this? We're going to cover it and let it cook. Look at that. Yeah, so after 12 minutes, the pasta is fully cooked. Oh, thank God. Because that fan was annoying. All right, so after 12 minutes, the pasta is officially cooked. And um, it's barely like any fluids in here. So I'm just going to add just a little bit of my little trick to make it thicken. Mm. Yeah, so to make this thicken, I'm going to be using um, some a root, root, arrow, a root. I can't pronounce this right. But you can also substitute it with cornstarch if you don't want to use the arrow. Arrow root. I can't. This is like a tongue twister for me. But anyways, pretty much what this is, it just it helps to thicken up things like, you know, if you want to do like a soup or like um, gravy and, you know, just stuff like that around the line just to make sauces and whatever and so on and so on. To thicken it up, this is a great thing to use. Um, but again, you can use cornstarch. You don't have to use this. You don't even need to use it if you like it all liquidy. Again, I never measure, but I'm going to say one teaspoon should do it. You don't even have to cook it. It's just going to, you know, thicken it up a bit. go now it's starting to get like you know nice and creamy and um, you know like like a gravy type so that's how I like it but again you am gonna do this if you don't want to if you want it liquidy do it liquidy that's okay we're not picky here So now that this is ready, you don't have to do this, but I like some kick of heat. So I'm going to put a little cayenne pepper because I want it to be spicy. Let's see how this pasta tastes. Right here, you guys are about to witness this. You know, it's actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. I will still choose spaghetti over this, but you can beat it when you get in 13 grams of protein per serving. So, so apparently I had no idea that my audio, well, my microphone decided to be a complete douchebag, and in the middle of my mukbang, it just stopped. Yeah. So you guys aren't able to hear anything of what's going on. So I'm just going to do a quick voiceover. And I'm so sorry that I'm always having technical difficulties. Look, 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 look. Now I know here it's probably advising you guys to just stick to like the spaghettis because like the gluten-free pasta for this recipe, it just didn't go very well. It was delicious, but you know, like the texture, I'm not, I'm not used to it. Anyways, if you guys enjoy this recipe, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new, go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss out on any more of this sassiness. And until next time, yeah. You guys like my shirt? I know, I know. It's a fact. <laughs> Bye, guys.